gang. Testing the audio. Looks like it's on. Okay. Um, we are going to do donuts. Um, couple with bites out, couple with not. Um, possibly one that's filled with a bite out of it. It's kind of up to you. But we need to grid our paper first. So <clears throat> a normal sheet of paper. It's not in a notebook. I'm going to um, cheat a little bit and we're going to fold it in half. Nice crease. Unfold it. Fold in half again, going the opposite way. Just make sure your corners line up before you do the actual crease. I'm having trouble with this guy. There we go. And then we are left with a gridded sheet of paper with crease down the middle, crease <coughs> left and right. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to. <coughs> Do my best. Draw a line on that crease. Mine's a little wobbly, but it's okay. And a line on this crease. Probably could have used a ruler and it would have looked a little bit nicer and more clean, but it's okay. And now I have my paper divided so I can do four individual donuts. And the way we do the one with the hole in it, a traditional donut, centered in the square, and it's not this way going landscape which is sideways in the middle I'm going to do this little line so equal space on the left and the right equal space on the top and on the bottom and then <clears throat> come in from the edge a little bit do a little curve that goes up make sure you have room on the side too and they're not hooking up they're just kind of curving out that believe it or not is going to be the hole for the donut so I'm going to go up here <clears throat> and my goal for this is to make the top part skinnier than the bottom part. So this is clearly thicker than that because we're seeing it at an angle. So we want to look three-dimensional so those proportions have to be correct. <clears throat> so I'm going to come to the middle, go up, and do this big curve like letter C. But it's clearly thicker at the bottom, okay? And then there's some there's some meat, oh there's some some airy over here. It's not really close to that little line we just did. Then I'll do the other side. And I'm going to tinker with it after I'm done to make sure it looks okay. That's not bad. So that's our rounded tire, our little donut. <clears throat> I'll start on the right side. Just do one of these little numbers. So just randomly kind of curving. This looks like there's frosting from the right to the left. And I'm also going to go here and do the same thing. So it looks like there's frosting there too. So this is donut. That little sliver is donut. Everything else is frosting, and that's the hole that's in the middle of the donut. So <clears throat> pick a new spot, and we're going to repeat this step again. We're just going to skip the frosting step. So exact same steps. And this little got a little bump up here, so I'm going to clean that up. Now, <clears throat> I did not say this earlier, but make sure you do this one lightly because we are going to erase some of it. So I'm going to come about right here. And I'm going to do a little line. And from the bottom and the top of this line, I'm going to do another line that's going at an angle like that. So one here, one here, but it's going to be like little random little letter M's almost. So it looks like there's a bite taken out of it. And I'll erase here. I'm also going to erase this one and curve it in some. Then I'm going to go through and add a couple more of those things. So it looks like it's got some texture. So that's our chunk. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. And then I'll do the frosting. On the bottom. You know, if you want to add like sprinkles or a swirl of extra different colored frosting or whatever to these, that's completely up to you. <clears throat> My favorite is a normal raised chocolate glazed donut with chocolate sprinkles. My daughter likes the strawberry frosting with strawberry sprinkles. My wife likes just plain strawberries frosting. <clears throat> 
So let's do a filled donut. So this one's a little bit easier. We're literally just going to do the shape. We don't have to do the hole, of course. So I'm going to try and do that oval shape. That's our big boy. And then I'm going to do it <clears throat> about 60-70% of the way down. So not in the middle, I'm going to come down. And I'm going to do my frosting. So that one's really simple. And then the final one is this guy again. But we want the bite taken out of it. Because those are the filled ones. So I'm going to do this literally the exact same step. This is going to be lightly because I'm going to erase some. It's a little wobbling at the bottom, but let me erase that so it's okay. So how we do this one, we'll do that line first again. And then we'll do our two diagonal lines that are bumpy. Then we erase that, then we're going to add that little guy. And I can erase what I don't want. <clears throat> and before I do those extra curvy guys, I'm going to put like a little blob because that's going to be the filling. If you want to try and draw it oozing out or something, I suppose you could. Then I'll come in here, do those little curvy guys. I might add another one right here. Then I can do my frosting. Boom. We got our four different types of our donuts. <clears throat> if you wanted to do, like, skip this one and make a more complicated one, or you can make one that's almost even eaten in half, or completely up to you. So your job, if you missed class when we did these, is to catch up, do your four drawings, and then make sure you trace everything with nice bolded black lines. I'm not going to do that in front of you on the video. And then your job is to trace everything with a marker, number one. Number two, like I've done a checkerboard for the background. And then three is to color in your donuts. <clears throat> when you decide this, make sure you have a plan though. So for the bare donut, I did a, a golden color pencil with a brown on top. This looks kind of um, goldeny. Including the bite where the bites are, and then pick a pick a frosting color. This is blue uh, frosting flavor: blueberry, lemon, blueberry. That's why there's a little bit of green because I added blue on top, so it might blend it a little bit. Strawberry with strawberry sprinkles, my daughter's favorite, and just chocolate. And then my filled one, I did chocolate with strawberry, and then like I did like these little guys. Some donuts have swirls of different flavor on top. They have chunks of Oreos and bacon pieces and what have you. This is your decision. Um, play around with it. But you should not be submitting this. You should be submitting this. Okay, so make sure it is traced. Make sure it is colored. Make sure you have a plan. Nice and neatly done. But yeah, best of luck. <clears throat>